In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 360 degree cylindrical panorama that you can view on the web using the Adobe Flash Player. Now to start out, you have to go ahead and, and shoot your images. Uh, I've already shot everything for the purposes of this tutorial. Uh, so you can see my starting image right here. Then I proceeded to shoot uh, 12 more images by overlapping about one third. Now if you can see between these two images, the similarity between uh, this part of the image and this part of the image. Uh, this allows the stitching software uh, to find the similarities and uh, stitch together so everything looks seamless. Now as you can see, I went over and continued to shoot more images until I went all, around, all the way around. And you can see part of this image matches up with the first one. Then. Uh, to get a little bit more area, because I was using a 17 millimeter lens, I wanted to get a little bit more up and a little bit more down, I put my camera up. And if you look at the difference between these two images, see the same tree here? I just pointed my camera up a little bit. And notice how I still have overlap here compared to there. And then what I did was I shot another circle on the tripod. and then from there I pointed the camera down from the starting position. So now I'm uh, shooting at the floor of the, uh, the woods that I was in. And I shot another set. Now that I have explained how to shoot the panorama, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it together in Photoshop and a program called Pano 2 VR. First in Bridge, I'm going to start by selecting all of my images. Then I'm going to go to Tools, then down to Photoshop, and then to Photo Merge. From there, I'm going to select Cylindrical because it's the kind of panorama we want to build, and I'm also going to select Remove uh, Vignetting. Uh, this is going to kind of get rid of that dark stuff on the sides that you get every once in a while with some lenses. Then I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to go ahead and let Photoshop uh, do its merging process. Uh, it's going to take all 36 photos that I shot and it's going to stitch them together seamlessly uh, in the cylindrical format that we selected. Uh, the reason you didn't select auto, uh, which you do in some panorama in instances, and it actually works pretty well, uh, is because we want this thing to wrap completely around and the goal is to have the horizons meet on the other end. As Photoshop finishes up stitching together our panorama, you're going to notice that there's a lot of transparent area in the panorama that Photoshop stitched together. Uh, the transparent area is that white and gray checkered area in Photoshop. To work with Pano 2 VR, uh, we need to go ahead and crop it down uh, to a rectangle. So selecting the crop tool with C, I'm going to go ahead and bring it in as close as I can, uh, but leaving in as much area as possible, uh, but making sure to crop out all of that transparent area. And then once I've made the finishing touches, I'm going to go ahead and click that little check in the uh, upper right hand corner uh, of the screen. That's going to accept my crop. And now we've got the rectangle that we need. The next step is I'm going to save it because this is the PSD with all the layers and so I want to make sure to keep my original data just in case I ever have to go back to it. So all you have to do is press Control S or Command S on the Mac and then go ahead and name it whatever you want to uh, and save it in a location that you'll remember. Now it gets a little complicated. We have to make sure the right side matches up with the left side. So select the rectangular marquee tool, uh, shortcut is M, or you can find it on the left side on the toolbar, and select a chunk on the right side that you think will have equivalent data on the left side. That means, you know, the visual part that's going to match up. And then go ahead and copy, which is going to be edit, copy, or control C, or command C on the Mac and then deselect, control D, command D on the Mac, paste, control V or command V on the Mac, and then go ahead and drag it over to the left. I went ahead and enabled snapping as well just to kind of get those uh, top and bottom parts to make sure that they align. Now I'm going to zoom in really close onto my image, and scroll all the way over to the left. You can see it kind of did a pretty nice job with the stitch. Now I've got that top image overlaid on the bottom image, and I'm going to go ahead and see that tree right there. 
I'm going to try to make sure that they line up perfectly. I'm going to take my time with it because you really want to get it down exactly to the pixel. Because when somebody's watching your panorama, they're going to notice uh, if a tree is not matching up or half a tree's here or half a tree's there. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and make sure everything is right where it should be. Alright, now after I've made those uh, last couple changes to get it perfect, I'm going to go ahead and create a layer mask. To start the layer mask, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my image, and I'm going to click the layer mask button on the bottom of the layers panel, which is right next to that FX one. It's got kind of that gray box with the circle in the middle. Then I'm going to select a brush, which is B, and make sure it's black on the top. Uh, this is going to go ahead and remove that part of the layer. And I'm going to go ahead and paint in. And uh, since the brush has a soft edge, it's going to go ahead and make things look like they're blending in. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly do this and go all the way up the image. Now I'm going to flatten the image, go to Layer, Flatten Image. Now using the rectangular marquee tool again, I'm going to select the left side because now that we've got that match that we just blended together, we can now match the left side of it with the right side. So make that selection again, copy, deselect, and then go ahead and paste. Now using the move tool, which is V, drag it all the way over to the right, and what you're going to do now is you're going to match the left edge of the layer that you just pasted with the image that is below that layer. Now the next part's a little bit difficult, but I'm going to go to the top of that layer that I pasted and then zoom in really close, down to where you start seeing that little checkered box so it starts showing you where all the pixels are. It's going to be farther than 100%. Then I'm going to take the Crop tool, which is shortcut C, clear any presets of the crop tool and I'm going to go to the top of the image and exactly on that seam I'm going to start selecting the entire image with the crop tool not a selection tool and I'm going to crop that entire part I'm not going to crop it out but I'm going to crop everything else out because remember the left side of that image that we pasted is the left side of the image and so now since that left side matches up with that right side of the image that we're cropping now, when you put it in the Pano 2 VR, you're going to be able to spin it 360 degrees seamlessly. Now it's a little bit tough to master, uh, so go ahead and watch this section a couple times uh, and don't feel bad. <laughs> but uh, it'll look really nice when you're done. So now I'm going to flatten the image, go into Layer, Flatten Image, and then I'm going to save it. Control Shift S or Open Apple Shift S. And I'm going to save this as a JPEG because the JPEG is what Pano 2 VR reads uh, to be able to create your cylindrical panorama. And I'm going to save it to the highest quality because Pano 2 VR will do its own compression later on, and so might as well uh, have the best quality now so we can have the best quality later. I've opened Pano 2 VR and I'm going to click the Select Input button, and I'm going to click Open and I'm going to select that image that we just made in Photoshop. Click Open, and then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to click Modify, and this is where we're going to set the point at which uh, when people first look at our panorama, uh, this is going to be the first view that they see. Uh, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Uh, there's a lot of controls here that I uh, encourage you to play with. But what you can do is, as you saw me doing, is I was scrolling around uh, in that window, and then when you're done, click Set, and then click OK. Now under Output, I'm going to click on the drop-down menu and select Flash, then I'm going to click Add. Now under Height, I'm going to change it to 570, because it just seems to work with a lot of the content management systems that I've been working with, uh, but change it to whatever you need then click OK, then click Yes, and it creates your cylindrical panorama for you. Now as I kind of scroll around in here, 
uh, you can notice that that was the part that we stitched together in Photoshop and it's completely seamless now uh, so the little extra work we did uh, is what went ahead and make this the 360 degree panorama well thank you very much for listening and watching uh, and if you have any questions uh, please make sure to send me a message